So today I'm actually joined by Earth, Wind, and Fuego. And no, that's not everybody's name here in front of us. We'll go into that in a few <laughs> moments. But I am joined by both uh, Madeline, Jen, and Sylvia. Madeline and Jen are the co-founders of Earth, Wind, and Fuego. And Sylvia actually just joined the staff as a full-time employee today as well. So welcome, Sylvia. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about the mission of Earth, Wind, and Fuego. Earth, Wind & Fuego, our mission is to train and hire local residents who face barriers to employment, be that physical barriers due to you know, disabilities, mental barriers, um, due to anything going on with mental health, um, or things going on in life, as well as societal barriers, so being formally incarcerated and how difficult that makes that for people to get jobs, or other forms of discrimination such as racism, homophobia, transphobia. We're really about creating opportunities to really bring everybody up. Jen and Madeline, though, you know, this is, you guys founded Earth, Wind & Fuego in 2017. Mm -hmm. How did you get here? I mean, it's a great concept, fantastic concept. Helping individuals achieve goals that they might not otherwise be able to do it without the resources available is fantastic. But how did you end up in Poughkeepsie? How did you end up here? Prior to um, us being in this space, Jen was actually working in the human services field here in Dutchess County, and it was right around the same time when we incorporated the business. One of the tasks, um, if you will, that we had to do was actually to find a commissary kitchen. So we were actually on the hunt for a kitchen that was affordable, and um, Jen was actually on her lunch break and worked right at the family partnership a couple blocks away and actually came across this space, and it's just been quite the journey. From there. Earthwind and Fuego is one of our first kitchen members to be here in the Poughkeepsie Open Kitchen at the Poughkeepsie Underwear Factory. And we have been working with them for over a year now to place trainees in our uh, culinary training program to help them re-enter the workforce. And Earthwind and Fuego, uh, led by my Madeline and Jen, really help mentor them and gain those skills and the confidence to be able to re-enter the workforce. And so far we've probably placed about a dozen or a couple dozen trainees with them. And we've had many success stories from that partnership. They hired one of the first graduates, Manny, who's their first staff member here. And just today, they hired their second staff member, Sylvia, who was a graduate of the program. You know, Sylvia, if you don't mind, if I, maybe I can ask you just, you know, what's the, what's the program done for you? Uh, it's done a lot. Uh, back in 2011, I got hurt at my previous job. Um, found myself disabled, so I was out on disability for all these years and then I had to find something to do. So I would volunteer um, one day a week at Meals on Wheels. And then I heard about this program. So I said, hmm. So I called up Hudson River Housing and they set up an appointment with Madeline and Jen. And um, I find that it gives me something to do because I'm still pretty young, <laughs> you know what I mean? And plus, I like to see them grow, but they're so compassionate. You know what I mean? If I need a little time off, it's no problem. You know what I mean? Always make you feel good and make you feel good about yourself, you know? So I just think the program is uh, it's great. If it, a lot more people know about it, you know, because when you've been out of work so long, and food service is what I did. So that's what I love to do. So I'm doing something I love, and to help these ladies out is just great. Fantastic. Sylvia, I, I, I couldn't say anything. That, that was great. <laughs> Tell us just a little bit about locally sourcing. From our bread to our produce, our dairy products, our eggs, we source locally as best as possible. It's very important for us to support other small companies and wanting to highlight the breadth of agriculture here in the Hudson Valley. Mm -hmm. um, so our eggs, we source locally from Yellow Bow Farms, you know, our, from our bacon to our beef, everything that we serve on our menu, it's really grown or um, we're sourced from New York State. That's something that we're very proud about. We know how much, what it takes to keep the doors open to our small business, and we want to be able to really support those um, those local players and movers and shakers that really you know get everything. This didn't really start, as you mentioned, as a restaurant. You had this open kitchen design that was right. here, but what happened? We took a risk and we dove into it. When I walked into this space, for the first time back in 2017, I knew it was meant to be for us to end up here. And then here it is, just 
walk <laughs> right into it. <laughs> um, and this, the beauty was that this space was also um, is operated by Hudson River Housing, a local nonprofit that's very mission aligned with who we are and how we are. So we said, let's just do this. We have all these other ideas about how we want to make the social impact company. We didn't have it all together about what that was going to look like at that time. But we said, let's just, we have to take this first step. So that's what we did. We quit our jobs. We started this meal prep company. And then we quickly realized there's um, potential here there's for a, lot of a service. You know, what was the evolution into actually serving uh, right. in a restaurant? So in October, so that was March that we discovered this space. Um, May and June, we left our jobs, started the meal prep company. It's 2017. Uh, we then started doing catering in September that year. By October, we launched a lunch service. So we were open limited hours from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Just for lunch. Just for lunch, started. Monday to Friday. Um, and then we quickly were able to, people loved our food. Not, I mean, I look surprised, but I'm not surprised. <laughs> <I'm so> surprised. <laughs> um, but we had, a, we started to get regulars very quickly, and it allowed us to hire people. We were able to hire our uh, two employees at that time, and then we expanded into breakfast and doing breakfast just for breakfast hours, eight to eleven. And now today we do breakfast all day. We have an even more expansive lunch menu at this time. We do catering. We've done up to 250 people catering jobs at this point. Um, we still do the meal prep, but the main components for us are our restaurant and our catering. We started our lunch service here in October, and very October 2017. Um, and Hudson River Housing approached us about a training program, a grant-funded program that they had, and wondered if we would be interested in partnering and working with them. And for Jen and I, it was like this is it. It came full circle. It was like a full manifestation of, you know, those very early conversations that are still plastered on this vision board that we have to this day. Of like, this is what we're going to do, and here's how we're going to help people. Um, so without hesitation, we were like, of course. Um, and I. Think think to everyone's surprise it was a couple folks that came on through to the training program who upon completion didn't want to leave <laughs> um, they were like we'll just volunteer for you we're like for liability reasons we cannot do that um, we feel we've really got a model here that we've really figured out what we're doing and how we're how we're able to really make an impact and how we're doing this differently than anybody else we have an employee retention rate that is more than triple the national average of our industry, which is something that really helps keep costs down for us. Um, people, as Madeline mentioned, they want to stay. They don't want to leave, and not just because they want to work. They want to work because we help connect them with employment elsewhere if we don't have a position available here, but they want to stay with us because they love working here. They love the environment here. They love what we do here. What is in the immediate future for Earth, Wind & Fuego? Really wanting to continue to grow our team and continue to raise awareness about what we're doing here in Poughkeepsie, getting the word out and wanting people to know that when they choose to dine with us or hire us for catering, um, that they're not just uh, purchasing our food. They're not just supporting another small business in the city of Poughkeepsie. They are really supporting the economic um, development of our community and really creating um, social advancement opportunities for the people that we train and that we hire here. Madeline, Jen, Sylvia, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes.